I got you. I got you. All right, ready? Want me to do it? Yeah. What's up? I'm Mr. Marcus, and you can get at me at mrmarcus.com. Mr. Marcus, where are you from? I am from Pomona, California. Pomona, California. Mm -hmm. You like Pomona? Yeah, I like saying I'm from Pomona. I love that because because you know Pomona's uh, you know the whole city's you know rough. You know, it ain't just like where I grew up at. It's like, you know, it was like, you know, niggas are crazy over there. I always meet people getting shot and killed. So it's like, you know, to be out of there, hell yeah. <laughs> but I love it that I'm from there and shit. <laughs> All right. um, has being from Pomona helped you to uh, do what you're doing today at all? Yeah, I believe so. I think it got me, you know, got me driven. <clears throat> I mean, I, you know, I still go back to my, my mom and my dad my sister live over there, so I'm always rolling over there and shit. But I feel like, you know, I wish I could get them out of there too, you know? But my dad, he's like, he's, he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> he's staying right there. Come on. Is that why you're in the porn industry? To get, is that one of the reasons that you're in the porn industry to help your family get out of porn? I mean, you know, that, gets, that things get taken care of by, you know, you're handling your business, you know. You can you can do a lot more. You, you start, yeah. You're like, okay, at least, you know. It's just a long, it's a long fucking road though, man. You know, niggas think it's overnight and shit. But how long? Where are you at in your road, your journey? Mm, I've been doing this ten years, so you know, it's funny. I don't, I don't, I don't flash back too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like to stay current and shit, and like how I'm feeling right now and shit. But yeah, if I flash back, it's a motherfucker. So then me asking you what your first day was like. I can remember it. What was it like? It was, um, I mean, my perception of it was, I was, like, nervous. I was nervous. I was, like, un kind of unsure. Um, it was two, it was, so, it was two things. I got two, I got two memories. I got one, because it was two different events. I got one memory of going out to Palm Springs and driving out there and getting there. And, um, uh, and they, this, this particular director, he shoots all of his, uh, pictures first. Then he shoots the movie. The pictures are, you know, basically taking pictures, blowjob, fucking, you know, all the different positions. So that was easy. Put down, she's, cause you know, he, he, while he's getting his camera, she's sucking my dick. I'm like, hey, this is cool. <laughs> you know, ain't no, ain't no camera. And then, you know, takes a picture. It's like, and now, you know, the confidence is there. Like, what else you need me to do? Pick her up, cool. You know, you know, you do want. You, you trust me. You look at some of the photos of men in this business. It's really, you know, they're posing. they you know, it's, you know, it's very. Yeah, look at me, man. You know, hard dick. Look at you. Did you feel like that? Uh, yeah, I feel like that. That's no, nah, that's what I feel like, right? I can't time to do the can work. You know, I'm feeling so good. I'm like, he says, and this is one of the catches. He says, can you come? If you want to come now, and he give you some time, get back up and shoot the video. Cause for the photos, they, you know, people put fake. This is so funny. I'm going way out of the way to tell you this shit, but I came. Cause I'm, I can come a lot. I can come multiple times, right? Cause you know, I just like to. <laughs> and they so, do it. Yeah, yeah, they would do it. So I came once, no problem. Feeling pretty confident, you know. So that that really had nothing to do with it, cause you know this day I can still do it. But I remember, you know, him coming over there, you know, ready to film, and me and the girl, and there was another guy in the scene, Shawn Michaels, big ups, um, big ups, like I'm from East Coast, big ups. <laughs> the fuck, right? <laughs> Much respect, no doubt. So, yeah, man, he comes over there and he's doing his thing. He's rock hard. He's a professional, right? I'm new, and I'm like, can't get dick hard. What the fuck? Okay, you know, I mean, come on now, feel me? All the every and then it, there's silence. It's always silence. The camera guy starts working. The lights get turned off. You know, get an erection. So that was terrifying. You feel me? Like, that's what you don't want to feel. Right. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> All right? Okay. My, my, next, my next time I got to do it was like maybe a day or two later. This cat by the name Ron Hightower says, hey, you know, you want to do a scene? You know, I met him, and he said, you want to do a scene for me and stuff? And I was like, all right, cool. I went there with my girlfriend who didn't want to do it. So I, he called me the next day and asked me to come back by myself, which I did. <laughs> and I get there, and I'm chilling. And um, I'm waiting for the girl. She walks in the door. She's this beautiful little Hispanic chick with her boyfriend. He comes in. And, she, and he's all like, okay, baby, I'll see you later. 
everything all right? You need anything? Because he's going to leave. I'm like, oh, okay. She, he leaves, comes over and meets me, and I'm like, wow, this girl's beautiful. I was just like, wow. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I'm getting in that. Yeah, man. I'm getting over that motherfucker. So I go over to the couch. He starts filming. She starts sucking my dick. And I mean, I was like, like this is it. <laughs> This is it. This is this is what I want to do. This is I'm thank God it happened like that. If I can now now if I can just get it each time like that. So there's been bad blowjob experiences. This is crazy. I'm going away. I'm you know it's funny because it's coming. It, I I got really clear memories about everything, but that I want to. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean those those events, two different ones, two different results, but they definitely propel you. It's real shit. Does your family support what you do? Yeah, yeah, they're cool. My mom is real cool. She How'd you kick tell her. Uh, I told her in bits and pieces. I told her I was, uh, uh, I said, uh, okay, I'm modeling. Then I said, I'm uh, modeling with girls. Then I said, I'm modeling, like, I'm touching the girls. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it was like it was like I was I'm new modeling and now I'm modeling with girls and now I'm having sex with these girls and you What'd know you and I told her I said yeah the photographers want me to have sex with the girls mom you know so I'm having sex with the girls that's crazy I told her that and she was cool I told her simultaneously in the week where uh, her coworkers have rented a video and I was in it so How's that? it was good timing any of the coworker or any of your mom's friends trying yeah, to get man. with you. Uh, nah. You know, here's the irony though. Is I, my mom always had, always had like, women around. So I was always around women, growing up. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know, hit or me not. I think they just held me and cuddled me a lot more. You know, so I love that shit. They learned to finesse the woman through. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> do you think? Do you feel like you're good at what you do? I feel like I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm challenged by what I do. You know, so I'm What's like, one of your challenges that you're having right now? I want to have, I really want to, I really want to just, you know, ultimately get it right from beginning to end, like this unbridled passion of sex, just real shit from, from, from meeting to, you know, to, to undressing, to touching, to kissing, you know, to oral, to foreplay, to, you know, actual intercourse, to, you know what you go through in the middle of all that intercourse and different you know exploring really reaching you know and, and and hitting those marks you know satisfied coming you know like music like a song like it's being played in your head and it's crazy mm-hmm. and at the end you know just ah just spent you know just spent so you've been doing this for 10 years how mm-hmm. many more years will it take for you to get it the way <laughs> you, you just <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm trying to see, right? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Are you, you sound like you're almost there. I mean, I'm. I, you know, I've had, I've, I've had great, you know, great sex. I've had some great sex, man. I've had some great sex. I've had some like, you know, atmospheric type of sex. What stars um, have it? What one female? Name one female star and one male star that that have it down. That you feel have it down. I don't know, you know, I actually, I like Justin Slayer. I think coming up, I was like, he got a natural ability. And so I was like, I peeped that out. Um, Shawn Michaels. Um, what about Fina? Uh, Bill Donna. Um, Sylvia Saint. Session. Session has a sensuality. She can really be sultry. Anyone who should quit? <laughs> yeah, every girl's like, you know, 18 years old. <laughs> and, you know, and they've been fucking before she was 18. I mean, I hate to say it, I, 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 I've learned, you know, the girls have sex pretty early, just like us guys have, you know. But when they just, when they're seven, I don't I, well, I can't even say that too, because you meet some 18 year olds who are just, I, I don't think I've seen a common with an 18 year old that's really good at it. She's been having sex since she was 14. You feel me? So she's, you know. Four years in. Yeah, she's been putting in work. So by the time she's, you know, 
It's like, you fucking like, whoa, you know, peeping game, all right, all right, welcome to the club. <laughs> How long have you been putting in I've been having sexual, since I was about 11, 11, 12. Wow, that's pretty young. Yeah, I used to hump a lot. I used to hump, I, I remember my first time I humped because I had a crush on this girl, you know. I used to hump, I was humping, I was humping early, 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 I was humping. I, was, <laughs> I could get them, I could get the that's girls right, to lay down and shit. What? How'd you, that's is that? Where you from? I used to hump, huh? I wouldn't mind. <laughs> she, oh. I know, I'm not even flirting with you either. I'm like, I wanna, but I'm like, whoa. <laughs> are you, um, what films are you, are you directing any films right now? Um, I'm directing, uh, I direct this thing, I don't know, I direct this thing called Multiples, which was like, Two girls. I actually, you know, once they gave me the deal, I, I, I asked this guy who, who just did a movie over there. I said, can I, should I do every scene? He was like, yeah, they want you to do every scene. I said, I don't know if I should do every scene. I was thinking I should hire other guys to do it. <laughs> right? But I was like, no. Nah. I mean, I, I, I mean, I didn't say no to the idea, but I was like, good. You know, all I had to hear was, like, all right, well, I'll blame him. <laughs> you feel me? And I just went at it, and I had, like, multiple girls, which I, I think... Ultimately, um, I like two girls, and uh, and I like to. Um, there's a there's a really natural relationship that goes on with two girls and a guy, really, and you know when you key in on that, when you get that, it's very, you know, it just flows and it's just there's a like like night a lot a lot of nice things going on in there. Um, so that's what I try to capture. I I think I got it. Some some scenes I got it. Some you know. A little forced, you know. You have some people who are working from a different backgrounds, so they can feel like they have to act. But I think in pornos, I think you can get this, you know, just realism, you know, real shit. Would you rather direct or would you rather be in front of the camera? <sighs> you know, there's, um, there's, here's the struggle, man, because there's one cat who says, hey, you know, you can keep fucking like this, but there's another cat that's like, no, you can't. You know, you better, you better start directing or you better start producing. You know, you know, I, I see it done both ways. It's just which which way do I want? And I, you know, which one? What kind of what kind of? You know, I think ultimately I want to leave a cool, cool ass legacy. I want to be one of those motherfuckers like you know, have, you know, sit the bar pretty damn high. So which one is going to do that? And I'm trying to you know, because both of them take commitment. I committed myself to performing, but to direct, you really got to commit yourself. And it's just a totally different flip side of what you're doing. So right now you're working on the performance side. Yeah, definitely. Do you <laughs> practice at home? Uh, yeah, yeah, I practice all the time. Is your personal life and your porn star life the same as far mm -hmm. as the things that you do in your nah, porn? No, nah, the flip your, side your movies, is. Movies? Do you do? No, nah, the flip side is you know I I don't hide the fact that I got a family and I got a girl I've been with for ten years. I don't hide that. I tell you know if people want to know that I tell them. Because I've let it out before because I'm proud of it, challenged by that too, you know. But yeah, it's just it's just something too when I'm out with them, you know. There's that, just that respect I want, you know. Because, you know, it's my family and shit, so. Um, so yeah, I don't go home and fuck her in the ass. Or <laughs> <laughs> I do do crazy shit with her sometimes. So just, she's so down, man. She's so with me. So I, could, I think the last kinky thing we did was we fucked in the hallway of our apartment. Like, we got off the elevator and... And I just fucked her right there. So I got her on her knees. And, and just, if anybody would have walked in the halls, would have seen it. But I was just really horny. And once she should do it, she was down. She did it. That was fun. So have you done any of your own personal filming? No, nah, I always think that, you know, I, I'm lucky. I'm lucky in the sense that I still got that to do with her. You feel me? <laughs> like, I, you know, she, I ain't yet put out a camera and said, you know, suck my dick or let me see a pussy. I haven't done that with her. I haven't even, nah. And I'm glad though, cause I don't know, you know, it's just kind of like something, you know. I get, oh, am I supposed to answer? <laughs> Hello. Hey. I'm alright. So what do you want? <laughs> what do you want? You know I love you, and you drive me fucking crazy. So if something, if you're sad or anything like that, can you? Uh, I'm gonna call you back. I'm in the middle, so.
but you know what I'm saying? You sound sad. You sound like Yeah, I know you are. And I'm not trying to I'm not trying to catch that shit from you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm in the middle of something, so give me back like you know, give me call me like forty five minutes. Forty minutes. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> All right. Back. That's my sister. That sounds like you put a lot of, um, like, work and, like, thought into what you do and wanting to um, make it the best way that you can. Do yeah. you think that it's fair that women in porn get paid more? Because it sounds like you put a lot of energy into it. How, how do you feel about the difference in the pay scale? You know, it's funny, because the pay scale is actually getting more level. Okay. Um, with more guys coming into business and more guys being uh, better performers. Okay. <clears throat> you know, there's no more, there's no, you know, who's, you know, there's, the argument is, jury's still out, Viagra, you know, who's going to admit it, who's not going to admit it. But it did create a dramatic change in this business, you know. Viagra. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm a little mad because it was like, I feel like that was, didn't give, you know, you didn't give, I, I, I guess it works, it stimulates, you know, but I always thought it was hard, you know, if you come from here, you know, which is, you know, they always say it's the biggest sex work you got, but if you're mine, but I understand why it was created, and I understand in this system, I had to, I had to do that because here it was, like, I feel like, damn, do I got to do that to compete? Do or, you? No, nah, hell no. Nah. You know, that was the thing. I had to say, I had to make that decision. <laughs> you feel me? I had to say, nah, you know, you want this to be from the heart, you know, you really want this to mean something to you. Then so you gotta... people in the industry have had, have you, you've lost jobs for not, from not taking Viagra? Nah, I probably lost jobs on late. <laughs> 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 you know, I usually, you know, cancel in the last minute. No, I know, I'm being real, like, no, nah, no, nah, it's just, you know, I think, um, yeah, I think a lot, I think a lot into this. So the pay scale is getting better. But yeah, it's, it was not, so now you're getting now you're getting you're getting a more you're getting a better uh, you're getting a better performer, better male performer, better looking male performer. You know, a lot, a lot of these guys were fat and you know, or not fat, and, uh, not attractive, or just they had no game, or mm -hmm. it wasn't you know, porno men weren't you know they weren't seen as like the studs. Yeah, they weren't. Yeah, a lot. Of, it's always been the common. Uh, sometimes it's a way to disassociate yourself and say you couldn't do that. Women do that with other women in business. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a skanger. But the women have gotten better looking. I mean, some there's girls out in the world who need makeup too. I mean, who's beautiful? Who's this, just because you're watching a porn, you think that no. I think what's starting to happen is you know, people, you know, people are better looking, better performers, uh, physically more attractive, start coming into business. So the pay scale changes. It's crazy. My sister is crazy. She can change. <laughs> she can change the energy, and she's crazy. Does your sister do porn? Hell no. What if she said she wanted to? How do you feel about family members doing porn? I would discourage. I would just discourage it, even though I see that there's a lot of family members within this business. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of brothers and sisters. Some there's mother daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely there's sons, there's father sons. That's some real shit. That's a story there too. <laughs> there's uncles, there's cousins. You know, there, there's people because they look at this as an ability to make money and right. good money, um, and they look at it as you know as a career uh, career opportunity. But also you know, it's, it's, it is a business where you can bring your family in, you know, you can easily, so yeah, I, I easily could, but I, I don't know, I, I, you know, I actually kind of wanted to keep everything I did separate from everything else I did, you feel me? It's the same way I keep it from my family, it's the same way I keep it from my family, it's real shit, so I, I yeah, I guess it was natural, naturally I just put up a barrier to keep them, because I, I, you know, in hindsight, there are some negatives in this business, you know? And then some, and then the wrong, um, wrong step. Yeah, you'd be fucked. You can, you can go down the wrong path. Um, but you've been in the business for ten years. Wouldn't you be able to like steer in the right way, maybe, or do you think? I don't know, cause you, I, you, you know, know, I'm, I'm shelter. No. I take it personally. Does she even want to do it? No. Are there any family members no. that want to do it? No, and take it. No. What if one of your kids wanted to do it? If you? Yeah. Yeah. That's would you just, you would discourage? A daughter or a son from doing this, if you had one. Well, you know, if Jim South really was a, the true, you know, racist little. Can you walk up the back? Yeah. You have your keys. Yes. Darling, yeah. I'll see you about 9:30. Okay. <laughs> okay. Have, have, 
<laughs> my check waiting. Yeah. Did you really take photos? Huh? <laughs> Did you really take some photos? No, I just want to make sure she had my so I wish you would have. <laughs> he, he said he lost them. He needs me to retake them. <laughs> yeah. So do people recognize you when you go out? Um, yeah. Yeah, they do. They do a lot more now. I just kind of let it just, you know, it's crazy. How do you handle it? It's new to me. So, I mean, you know, it was, you know, no one gives you, you don't know, you don't know. Because I used to be, like, really standoffish. Because, you know, like, what do these motherfuckers want? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I would, I, you know. But then, you know what I'm saying? But, but then you start, you start like you see, you see motherfuckers. I, I think, for me, I, I, just, I give what I want. So if I want, if I, if I want respect, I give it. Feel me? So, I, you know, I just, I give them that respect because I want them to give it to me. Because I, I just know that I like to. Somebody said to me once, said you're lucky. You still can go places. And I was like, you know, and it was. I understood what he meant, cause you know, I, I, I by no means am no nobody, you know. I'm like simple, I really am. But there's motherfuckers really probably just, you know, just want to find. I can find places on this planet to be by myself. I know where they're at. You know what I'm saying? It's real shit. But I, I think yeah, you know, there's there are some motherfuckers who couldn't. They really have to go. It's another level. It has to be or something. I appreciate people coming up because it it says something about. You know, their sexuality, <laughs> little horny. That you know, that I meet couples and I meet just really sexually. German people. Yeah, man. You've turned on in their bedroom. Yeah, man. You know, I'm like cool. I, I was, I, you know, I don't want to want to know what did I do. I don't, I don't really don't want to know because I don't want to like not do it. You know what I'm saying? I want to, you know, if I if I if you if you just stimulate, you like something I did, then you know, good. You know, if it if it helped, I would, I, I encourage it. So. I'm, you know, it's like this un thing, unsaid thing. You want to encourage, you know, uh, you know, people to enjoy it and have better sex. Any exes trying to get back with you now that you're doing porn? Or? You know, my exes, my exes are always they, they cool. I'm, I'm, I'm lucky because you know they get the, I, you know, they, 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 I get emails I'm like, remember me? You know. Do you? No, not really. <laughs> You know, I was they I was they treated me mean. I, in high school, I was a nerd, man. I, I got picked on. I'm, I mean, you know, fuck them, shit. <laughs> you know. Ten no, years ago, too, did you think you would be where you are now? Mm-mm. I played lottery because I want to be even further. <laughs> Feel me? So oh. you, you know, you you uh, you know. You, I don't know. I, I my mom always says I'm hard on myself. I, I get to a point where I'm like, damn. But I mean, look, man, I got awards. I always, I'm proud of those motherfuckers. You know, I'm proud of them. Proud of them. Proud. proud What's your, what award are you, or what accomplishment through porn are you most proud of? Um. One time I was eating this girl's pussy. Right? And I was in. And it was good. Uh-huh. <laughs> she just said I could do that real good. I mean, it's a li- I don't know, man. It's just. <laughs> Did you already know that prior? Uh, you know, you don't know. You don't really don't know. I mean. Do you, you know that you have it? Do you think you got it? Like you got it now? Like the the art of eating pussy? Yeah. I I I, 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 I keep thinking not. I, you know, I thinking I don't eat enough of it or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. I mean, feel me. You. What mainstream star would you like to eat out? Um, Jen Jackson, Jen yeah. Jackson, Jada Pinkett. I heard she's a freak too. So <laughs> yeah, I like to get a pet. Um, I actually want to fuck Christina Aguilera. What like, would you do with her? What would the scene be like? Where would it be her. set? I want to fuck Michelle Branch. I really want to fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I want a jewel. I want to fuck her. I want to fuck. I think Vivica Fox is ghetto, so she's gonna be like in the bed, man. She's just gonna be like with it, with it, like gangster. That's like, what you imagine. Yeah, I just figure thug love. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to show my A game in that motherfucker. <laughs> so if you're watching it, okay. Yeah. Have you ever regretted doing any scenes or? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Why? <laughs> Cause you know, it was for the money. A lot of things suck sometimes. You're doing just for the money. Feel <laughs> shit. So yeah, you know. <laughs> those, you know, take those back. But you know, fuck it. Done is done. So yeah, you try not to regret. Keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it up next time. I like it, you know. If I have some bad pussy, I do that with pussy. If I have bad pussy. But damn. Do you ever tell the star when you're eating? Do I ever tell the star? Yeah, if pussy's it's bad. bad? No, I'm, I'm not polite like a motherfucker, so I, you know. Yeah, I am polite. I ain't gonna eat no more pussy. <laughs> but honey, you need to. <laughs> Like the scenes you've uh, regretted, I mean, are you talking like, or were they like gay scenes, or just girls you'd never want to work with again? Because I mean, there is a, I mean, not too many people, uh, some guys who do straight scenes now have done gay scenes before to make more money. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you're talking about when you say you would regret, regret a scene, or? No, that's not what I'm talking about when I say I regret a scene. <laughs> Hell no, nah. I, I you know I I've, I've actually learned to accept people's sexuality better than you think. If, you know I had to if I was, if I plan to talk about it, be about it. Hell yeah. So you know I understand that whole you know it's just another form of sex. But <sighs> Not for you. Mm. Any amount of money. Mm. Figure that out kind of early. That's real sick. I want to play the name game with you. Mm -hmm. I want to know, honestly, the first thing that comes to your head when I say the name. And say the name first. So Larry Flint. Larry Flint is a businessman. And uh, entrepreneur. And a visionary. And he don't give a fuck. Bill Margold. Mm. Cocky. Doesn't really. Oh, Bill Marco. You know what I'm thinking of? Bill uh, Mayer. Bill Bill oh. Bill Meyer. His talk show. He's a cocky motherfucker. Uh, but Bill oh. Marco. No, Bill Marco is um. He's an educator. He's um. He's um. You know. He doesn't like me smoking weed. <laughs> Jenna Jameson. Businesswoman, entrepreneur, don't really give a fuck. Uh, you know, iconic, definitely. You know, and it's, you know, trip, you know, black guy giving white girl props, but that's exactly what it is. <laughs> Rob Black. Firestarter. He, uh, but a conscious, conscious one, conscious one, conscious one. Kind of a, I, I think he has racial, racial, racial edges, racial connotations, but I think it's making you confront something. So, you know, we, we never had a full on conversation, but I, I understand what he's doing. Yeah. Howard Stern. I don't know, he seems to be, he, he's got a fetish, he's got a thing for black guys and white girls. That's some real shit. I've met, heard him mention a couple times. He's a, he's a controversial, um, but, you know, I think he enjoys what he does, so he's uh, entertainment. Big Have time. you been on the show? I haven't been on the show. Sorry, man. You fucker, stop it. <laughs> I should turn Quite it the off. popular man. Nah, nah, nah. Has it always been that way? It's since I started this shit, yeah. Until, <laughs> 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 you know, until the nigga, like, got, like, really comfortable. Like, yeah, I am a porn old star. Yeah, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I... You know, I, I don't, you know, I, I got credibility now, you know, I can fucking, really, I can make some shit happen, so, okay, you know, so. Are you see. using your power I'm wisely? Just, I'm, 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 wisely, I don't know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I think, I think what I do, I do a lot of things consciously, you know, and then there's God, you know, and he really, he really, he really, and I've become a lot more, uh, I, I've always believed in him, but becoming more and more, because my daughters, 
because of my things that people say to me, mm-hmm. the, the the road I travel, you know. So fucking, you're religious. I'm getting there. I'm not 100, percent but I mean, I'm, I'm I really I guess I am to a t- to a point, but you know. So yeah, man, you think wise. You you hope that you know everything you go through, you know, amounts to something. That's some real shit. So yeah, yeah, I think I've been pretty fortunate. Have you ever dealt with that religion versus porn in your mind? You know, I look at Prince, and Prince is the best thing example for me. Here's a guy who's just, you know, all about God and everything, but he loves to talk about sex. And I figured the two together is just genius. So I'm I'm following his lead, man. <laughs> you feel me? I'm rolling with him. Shit. Tracy Lords. Uh, conflicted, but you know, blessed, lucky. Uh, you know, footnote, you know, somebody, you know, caused change in our business, you know, who did our business, participated in it, but totally, and that's understandable because she did it at a young age that, you know, you do think differently than, you know, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, you know, those change, it's just different. So she's a different person now. That's one thing. I think to, it's really tough to like, I don't know, we like to blame things. I was really tripping off the fact that she blamed the industry for it. But look where she's at. I mean, you know. Where would she be otherwise? John Holmes. You know, bits and pieces of him. I, I, it's funny to be in the same business as someone. So you have a tendency to look at things, you know, you know, that relate to him. It's real shit. Just so you can try to see what, what he was going through mm-hmm. or what it was like in that era. What was it about? What's a what it is? A, what is it about him? You know, he kind of went down and like, you don't want to. I don't want to go down in a, in a in a ball of fire. I would hate to. You feel me? You, you know, you know, dying of HIV is is you know they don't attach a lot of um. Arthur Ashe can die from it, and there's a certain, you know, there's a, there's a uh, there's a, a certain honor, you know, they honored him. John Holmes has been honored in in, 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 the, in the, you know in ways where you know written about notoriety, but you know but still he would be known as that. He died of that, and without that respect, so that's does, that's. that's really does that ever cross your mind? Like you could die yeah, of yeah, hell yeah, 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 yeah. I just keep thinking, you know, you know, thank God, you know. Have you caught any STDs since I've the ten years STDs, that you've been? Yeah, man, how often is it or how well, you know, prevalent I, I, is it in, in, the, in the beginning it was uh, you know I don't think it was it was I didn't really know all the you know I'm, I, like I the built, first time you had the burn <laughs> yeah you know you're like, doing, oh, you're like damn. Are you, you know here, here, I'm gonna be real about it damn I can't it. work <laughs> fuck damn it I gotta stop you know well now you know you know now we got it in this business that we you know they pretty much you know now if you catch anything they just it, we've got it man we got it we got the STDs we get them if we if we kind of everyone tested this, like this big database so mm-hmm. somebody catches something you know they get boom treated immediately so it doesn't reoccur that was one of the problems somebody peed out, I peed out a uh, cool thing Russell Simmons said once uh, he was he got approached by this foundation to do like a, to, they were gonna give him like two hundred thousand dollars if he did like this thing for HIV testing mm-hmm. you know get tested but when he found out the company that put up the money was actually a pharmaceutical was a was a company that produced the the actual test. You feel me? They were gonna have people come in, you know, he promotes it, they come to this company to get tested. The, t- the company makes money. There's money in testing. It really is. <laughs> so he said, Well and, and this is the two flip sides of this shit. Even though that was one part of the story, his thing was they were gonna pay me his money. So he once he found that out, he said, Well, no deal. He went back to the company, he said you know, let's do a new deal and let's talk about prevention. You feel me? It wasn't so much about getting tested. Why should we even be getting tested? We should just be prevented altogether. So it was. How it was, would that be prevented without doing condoms in the in the movies? Well, it, well, yeah. I mean, in our business, it would have to take a hundred. It would take. It would have to take. Here's the here's the here's the problem with that. What people do on camera is one thing. What they do off camera is another. Um, so yeah, here we are on camera with our condoms on, but. A lot of these people fuck in the bathrooms, they fuck in the car, they fuck in the, you know, the apartment down the street. You know, they're fucking, they're still fucking. Just because, you know, the cameras stop rolling doesn't mean they haven't stopped fucking. So we run the risk of all these people 
not but upholding their end of the bargain um, and that's and that's and that's just something collective but um, that we have you know it's a challenge you, really, you, you if you give if you care really a lot about your body and about I mean really if you really truly then you would not do this business because there's a, there's a lot of there's a possibility we gotten better testing. But don't, we can't, I can't knock on those things, but I'm like one of those guys that you know that say, you know, I can't. I concerned with it, but I can't. I obviously I put I put my faith in some in the higher hands because I continue to do it. It's like I'm afraid to drive, but I gotta get, but I gotta get him. I gotta go. I gotta get to where I'm going. You know, you just try to go as safely as you possibly can. So that's what. But if anybody got any kind of little little bit of thing. I'd say don't ever don't do this. That's not gonna happen. Motherfuckers are gonna say, well, it looks safe. You know, you put, you know what I'm saying? You gonna put your looks like Have you ever not done a scene because something didn't look safe? Yeah, 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 yeah. How was that day like? You know, how did you approach it? Um, you know, you try to handle profession. You know, you know. <laughs> Hello. Okay, okay. Hey man, I gotta go. Um, no, 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 I'm, I'm acting, I'm acting. Oh. <laughs> that's how he gets out of the scene, that's how he's acting. You know me? It works, right? <laughs> like, it worked. You know, yeah, I, really, like, I, would, right. I was a terrible actor right there, too, believe that. <laughs> but he wasn't but, watching. He was yeah, 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 but if, you know, but when I, I got to get out of something, I can do that, too. So, <laughs> so now she knows who she was. <laughs> yeah, now I'm busted. No, no, I try to, you know, I try to do all the preliminaries. Before I get that. What, if, what if one of the your two mainstream stars <laughs> still back out? <laughs> I yeah, I've done that and I fucked myself, you know. You know, company. Bodies. Yeah, they didn't hire me again or they talked shit about me. So you know, but it was understandable. I I held up productions that were really big, you know. You know, so the, I, I it would get people people you know it would give more strength to the people who don't like me to say you know you know it's unreliable or. You know, He's not dependable, and I've heard that about me. So it's kind of frustrating because you know it's not it's not so much that it's just, just when I do when I do show up to a job, I try to be as dependable mm -hmm. as possible, as reliable. Um, but ultimately, you want to be in a goal where you don't you, you're responsible. You you know you don't you don't carry that that kind of burden or that weight or that shift. And, you know you know and eventually you want to get to the place that if you fuck up, it only affects you, and not like you know. A bunch of other people. And that's what you, you strive to get there. Something you were going to say that. I know. Paris Hilton. <laughs> she could, she could have been a porn star. What's up, chick? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mr. Colin. What the fuck? How'd that one get by? Ron Jeremy. You know, you know, much respect. Um, actually, you know, great. Ah, you know, here's a guy. You know, fucking transcended a lot of things, and he's still, you know, very much part of his business. Two thumbs way up. Don't you think that it contradicts of what I mean? Him being in porn contradicts where it's going as far as like the look of what you think of a porn, of porn star? Well, you know, the good thing about Ron Jeremy is that he don't represent the majority, you know. He, you know, he represents himself. You know, he represents, he, re he represents what, you know, porn could be, no, what porn, he represents what porn is a part of, these guys, these same guys. Because more consumers probably look like Ron Jeremy than performers, so you feel me. <laughs> so you know that's 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 why you know that's probably that's probably why. But if anything, you know, he, and he's very funny, very smart guy. He's, he's he's really all the threes. He's smart, funny, and rich. But she would never know that. Never know. Max Hardcore. I actually I like. I know a lot. Of, I, like, I know a lot of motherfuckers. Are like, it's crazy. Have you worked with Max Hardcore? Hmm? I don't think I ever. He's he's intense though. He's like he's over. But I know his secret too. So. You know his secret. <laughs> yeah, I know his secret. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, you know, I puke game. Easy hustling. It's a plus, you know, hustling. Would hustle you trade places? No, not with Max, no. Who would you trade places with with people? <clears throat> In this business? I, I like John Stagliano. Okay. It, you know, it's like this respect. We don't, it's just, you know, he owns a company that, you know, number one successful. He's, he, he created, you know, a, a Jenner, a, a Gon, Jenner, 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 Goner, Gondry, what the fuck am I trying to say? <laughs> no. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're trying to say. Like, like, that's the word. What's the word? Genre. 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 Okay. See, that's a hard word. Negro, <laughs> Negro talk. One on one. That's some funny shit. You know, just some things we just can't articulate. That's all. We ain't supposed to. That's why we create up our own words. Mm-hmm. Shizzle. Shizzle. Feel me. <laughs> um, has being? Do you think that? Being black has helped you or hurt you being in this industry? It's helped. You be? It's helped. It's helped and hurt. It's hurt and helped. It's done both. It's fucked me and I got the fuck. <laughs> it's real shit. About balanced or? It's balanced. It's balanced across the board. There's racism and then there's some, there's not. <laughs> there's like, doesn't seem to be no in between. It's like, it all depends on what, um, what, you know, what you're trying to accomplish, what you're trying to, goal of the day. Um, do you get pushed a lot to go in other ways, um, as far as in the industry, or have you stayed strong in what you want to do? I pretty much I just stay strong in what I want to do. Um, I you know I I look at other people I, I've watched a lot of people's careers, you know, blossom and I've seen some, you know, implode, and um, and it seems to be the same thing. It's like they all make decisions of what they want to do and start surrounding themselves around with those people to make it happen. So. Um, this is funny because I'm going to say, what was the question again? <laughs> has it, the, the first question was, has it helped you? Then you went on to say, I'm trying to, trying, trying to go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, That's a good point, but I don't know what I was making the point for. <laughs> Have you been smoking like? again? No, I, I was losing my chain of thought, but it was, it was it was funny because I think that's what I've been trying to do too. Think Have of you being, been pushed in, in a certain way or not? Yeah, I, I've been want, doing what I wanted to do, and I think in relation to what other people have done to be successful in this business, surrounding myself around people to make those things happen, I've done the same, definitely. Surrounding myself around people. My my office being next, you know, which is considered the man in the business. He don't get a lot of respect, but that comes with the territory. Who's he? Uh, World Marlin, Jim South. You know, because here's a guy, you know, who, who's had a modeling agency a lot longer than a lot of other people in this business. Who actually went through a lot of legal issues for the business, you know, has done a share of like, you know, court, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, to allow allow a lot of things to happen uh, in this business. And I I only recently discovered that out. I mean, I always had respect for him. I've known him ten years. I've been in the business, but you know, it took him a long time to let me in and let me learn a lot of things and to have a lot of freedom that I have with him. Why do you think that is? Yeah, you know, it's like anybody that's you know protective of. You know what they do. You know, if it's a, if it's your livelihood or if it's your passion, you, you know you don't want it to be, you know, uh, fucked with. It's real shit. What are some, where are some of the places that people have tried to take you when you first started out? As far as the way that your career should go, and well, because I heard that this is can be a dirty industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think um, I I kind of went to I held them smoking weed for like the longest times. I used to always see it on sets. Um, I, I wasn't really into drugs or nothing before I got into business. I like to drink. I used to drink a lot. I used to drink before I got to the set. I still drink a lot. <laughs> Do a lot of people drink a lot? Is that something that's Nah, nah, because dr- drink, drunkenness in this business leads to, you know, a sloppiness. Sop. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Were you going to say slushy? No, I was going to say sloppiness. Yeah, sloppiness. So it's like, you know, in this business, there are a lot of professionals. A lot of professionals. People who or even, or, yeah, really, really, a lot of companies take it seriously, the directors, the fellow performers, so it's almost a disrespect to show up drunk. Uh, some drugs are easier to conceal and just, you know, like smoking weed, I mean, you know, unless, you know, some people smoke 
doing it for so long that it's just it's just like the, for them it's like smoking a cigarette. It doesn't really affect them one way or the other. Right. Um, so yeah, there's you know there's routes you could take. Never went that route. Um, you know, just, honestly, I've only I've only I've seen certain performers go back and forth doing gay movies and doing you know straight movies, which I think is fucked up. But it's usually, you know, usually only after you heard about it as it happened. It's just like, ah, okay. Because you know. they were forced to do gay I don't films? think so. I don't, I don't think so. I th- you know, you, the funny thing is you hear always that the guys in gay bit are not gay. They always say, I'm not gay, you know. You know, they do it for the money, which is crazy. You must like it or you have to. Some, something. You feel me? It's real shit. So, no, nah, you know, you, you directing, producing, ownership, distribution, um, that's it, all right. Um, writing, I've done all those things, you know. What are you most proud of? Um, I'm, I'm proud of, I'm proud of my movies that I directed, you know. I was thinking about today, like, I, I think that, you know, if you watch it, there's something in there that'll be worth the whole trip, I hope, you feel mm-hmm. me? Like the whole rental, the whole, you know, the whole two hours you had to watch that shit. Right. hope there's one thing in there that, you know, you know, did it for you, genuinely. So, yeah, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of those. I'm proud of the things I directed. What do you want? I've asked you a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I, I mean, Is there I'm anything hoping... you want to say to me? Is there anything you want to say to the world? <laughs> Where's this going? Like, where'd you guys go? Movie theaters. Hmm? Movie theaters. Oh, yeah. Like in that case, I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I mean, the movie theaters are great. I love movies. Uh, but, you know, this type of, you know, I, you, you know, it's what? How do you feel about, it sounds like you have a passion for what you do. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about certain porn stars' publicity stunts to make themselves famous? As far as would you ever run for president to oh, sell like yourself, Mary, yeah. or do you pride yourself on what you do? I usually sit back and want to see if it works or not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to see like, okay, did that work for them? Were they fall on their face? What came of it? Did they make more money? Were they more mm-hmm. popular? Were they variety? Did they get to do more things? You know, when I saw, you know, I see you always see Jenna Jameson and shit, but I think because she, you know, she just self promotes. You know, mm-hmm. you know, she build a name for herself. You know, she's not like. You know, she only had to be a great performer for a year or two, and then after that, it was just, she, was her name. I think it's her presence, I think it's what she brings, you know, the fact that, you know, she's accepted totally, like, you know, who she is, Mm -hmm. and what people like about her, and and what they don't like, she totally just looked cool with that, so, yeah, definitely. I, I see the way that worked for her. And I like the way it works for Ryan. And I say, I want, I want to be, I really want to be iconic, too. I want to be, I want to, like I said, I want to set a standard. I want to be, I want I want to be able to walk up to the club and the gates open before I get there, you know? It's not like that right now? It's, it's, it's getting yeah. there. It's, it's, pretty cool. it's pretty cool. And you know, you know, you're 100% what it's getting there. So I like, I like that. But I like, I just, and I want to, you know, I want to, like John said, like, starkly, I don't know, I mean, you know, he's a, I mean, there's, there's going to be a lot said about him, a lot written about him, because, man, you know, just, you got it. You just you don't do anything, even oppression, at least. So speaking of girls, let, let's talk about girls who got it. Who's better, white girls or black girls? That or Asian girls? <laughs> yeah, Asian. I think, I think, you know, I, I can go to safe route with this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Personal experience. So let's just, so just give a great head. Um. Lately, there's been a lot of good-looking sisters in the business, like a lot of good ones. I think that was the the argument was like, girls, you know, I I can I understood I used to fuck out of them, so I knew there wasn't like this quality of you know it wasn't there wasn't the girl that was representing you know right real shit, so that's changed and that and with that's come you know just breed of women who are like representing like you know having a, have a natural ability articulate real smart you know and love the fuck so. So who fucks better? Uh, who fucks better? I, that's, 
Every it, it changes, man. Because whatever, what, you know, I ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get me to say some shit like that. That's some shit. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> shit. <laughs> Girls with green eyes and nice skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those girls really know how to fuck. When they stroke a dick, mm. when big dick fits in those little. In the ten years that you've been in this mm. business, have you had any beef with anybody? Mm. Probably. I mean, I mean, but you know, I squashed it because it's, it's just it's, it's the worst energy in the world to have like issues and problems. And you, you, you got enough going on in your life. Why do you need to? You know, I've become philosophical about it because it just, you know, I'd, I'd be the guy fighting and be on the ground wondering, thinking, like, this is, I really, I was always the guy laughing, fighting, you know, it was like, you know, bam, 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 you know, and then it's, you know, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? What's your I, sign? Virgo. <clears throat> so, you know, so now I'm, I'm really, I'm just a different cat, man. I wouldn't want to, I could start beef. I bet you could. Ten years brewing. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. This industry. Yeah, I could probably, I could probably do some things. I could say some shit. I, I peep the game. I peep out a lot of motherfuckers, new cats. You know, it, it was my job. You know, I had to, I had to see how, you know, it was like that was part of my job. Is with the talent, the women and the men. I had to see who's doing what, how they doing it, why they doing it. You know, where they come from. They, you know, it's a, the great thing about people is that they always surprise you. So. You know, you, you just when you think you got to figure it out, something like, oh, oh, okay. You know, and, you, and then you know, and it's just like a, you, you know, and if you really got a lot of love in your heart, which you should, just appreciate them more. You just okay. You know, I learned something. You know, it's real shit. Um, last question, because a lot of people you know, recognize this about you. Um, I'm not sure, like, currently, but before in all your movies, you used to have, like, your hat on or something when you used to fuck. Was that just, like, something to symbolize you differently than the other stars, or? Yeah, you know, I hated my head. I hated my, I hate the way my head looks. Mm -hmm. I just hated, I hated my, <laughs> you know, we should have took that hat off when we first started the interview. Huh? I can flip it. I, I'm, I'm more, I'm much more comfortable with my hat, my, my head now. Um. For the Nuna show I take for the Playboy, you know, I, I they ask me I get calls saying where's your hat, but you know I'm I, I know you know niggas can fuck with me about it, but nobody does. So I mean, they it took them a long time to start letting me wear it in the club. You know I was I was I was adamant I'm gonna wear this motherfucking club. Now you see now you see the trucker hats in the club. You feel me? You can now it's cool. Now it's like you know oh, it's him let him on in. Nobody sweats me. You know, I, I pay my fucking dues. Don't trip. Are you still paying dues? <laughs> of course. Every, every, every hustler. Every hustler. 